We have another new purchase from Ukraine. Uh, this is the IMD5 and it was the replacement model for the uh, DP5V and when I show you the unit itself you will see the similarities between it and the DP5V. Uh, released in the early 90s. Uh, this is a reasonably rare unit. I haven't actually seen too many of them for sale uh, or even in the wild anywhere. There's hardly any photographs of them online either. Uh, but you can see the kit it comes in is very, very similar to the DP5V kit. Um, on this side, we have a battery pack, 12 volt battery pack, so you can connect it up to a car battery. And then there's a ex huge, big, long extension cable as well. Uh, so you can you, know, you can run it a, quite a fair distance away. And then also inside here is another cable uh, so that you can, uh, Again, hook it up to the mains if you wanted to. Uh, it's it explains it in the instructions. It, it, I don't know how uh, it could cope with working up, running off the mains. I'm not going to try it uh, in case it blows anything up. But the, I'll show you in a minute when I take it out. I'll show you the rest of the kit. In the lid, um, you probably can't really see. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll pan the camera up slightly and let you see. So in the lid. We have the standard telescopic rod, and then we have two instruction manuals. There's a service manual in there, and there's just the standard instruction manual. So going back down to the unit itself, I'll take it out of its box. I'll set it to the side. You can see the case is you know identical to the DP5V case. In fact, there is the DP5V there and uh, yes obviously this one's brown and this one is black uh, the civilian version there was uh, three versions of the dp5v there was this version there was a later uh, military version this is the military version a military later, later military version that had a, a different probe and then an even later version that uh, was for civilian use so inside here we've got little plastic bags that are supposed to go over the end of the probe to stop contaminating the probe itself. Uh, we have a screwdriver and a screwproof paper. Set of headphones. We have that cable that I was talking about. And then we have two carry straps. And then that all gets put back inside. So what I will do is I will do a jump cut and I will get the box out of the way and I will put uh, the meter on the table. Okay, moving on to the device itself. Uh, once we open the lid, uh, same as the DP5A, B and V, uh, you can instantly see the similarities between it and the DP5V. Same green plastic, switches are very, very similar. Rotary switch, yep, but different. Obviously a much larger display, much clearer as well. Um, the scales now uh, are very, well, they're, they're pretty similar. They're, we go from um, 0 0.1 up to a thousand, and instead of being measured in Ronkin, it's now measured in millirad. And then the highest scale, 200, that is measured in rads. So they've done away with Ronkin and they've switched to the newer scale of rads, which I believe started coming in about the, the late, late 70s. Um, now the top range is your millirads, and the bottom range here on the scale is your rads. So if I turn it up to, say we'll go to the lowest scale and if I hit the light switch, you can see the light comes on and it's a momentary switch. So you have to push it for the light to come on and it goes off when you take your finger off. Um, runs on two C cell batteries. So again, a lot more modernized, a lot more future-proofed, which is great. Uh, running on the, the C-cell batteries does make it a lot more user-friendly. And um, I'm, I've had this over a week or so now, and I've played around with it most days, and, you know, uh, the batteries are still fine. So I, I'm guessing you're going to get quite a few hundred hours out of this with the two C-cells in it. Um, I'll do a couple of checks now uh, with it. Now I'll take out the probe. And you can see that the probe is very, very similar to the latest style DP5V probe, which if you want to see uh, it being used, if you go to Weapon and Stuff 93's video, you'll see a good demonstration with this style of probe. You'll notice though that the uh, the window, the beta window, is a lot bigger 
and uh, there is with the, the beta shield on if you're doing your gamma and on this side we're on to the check source and I have that on so what I will do is uh, I will do the internal check source but I want to plug in a set of headphones so you can see there's the headphones so what I'll do is I'll plug in the headphones and I'll hold the headphones as close to the speaker on my phone as I can and then I will turn the check source on. So if I do it like that so you can see it. And then I'll do this on the speaker. And that's it obviously at the, the lowest setting. So I'll zero that off. I'll go to multiplied by one. So that's your normal. And then I'll do the same again. I'll turn that off. So yeah, pretty cool. Nice noise and uh, very, very quick and responsive to sources. And what I'll do is actually I'll take up my little Strontium 90 sources and that's actually what is inside if you've ever wondered um, what is actually inside here it uh, is one of them and that's where it's held on with that little pin there inside so when you turn that round that sits over so what I'll do is I'll get two of these both facing the same way and then I'm going to try to I'll move that around a little bit so you can hear it and then I'll put the uh, speaker up to the microphone or the headphone up to the microphone again and there we go nice and quick up and uh, actually I will go and get a DP63A and I'll do a reading off the display of the DP63A so very quick jump cut and I'll go grab that. Okay, so I have this on the lowest setting again now, and uh, I'll just zero that off. And what I'm doing is I've got the uh, speaker or the uh, headset up against the side, and I've got my second DP63A that still has the radium dial inside. There we go, we're off scale straight away. So I'll go up to the next scale. And that's that off scale now at five millirad. And then we'll go up to multiply by 10 next. And it's interesting, every time you go up a scale, um, the clicking noise in the headphones actually gets quieter, which is quite interesting. Yeah, that's about right. I get about 70. Uh, 70 microsievert from that with a normal display. In fact, I'll do the therapy so you can see in gamma or in beta actually what it is. Okay, so the therapy is a bit more sensitive to it. But yeah, that's behind glass. So it's. <laughs> It's quite crazy actually how, uh, how radioactive that, uh, that display is. But yeah, nice unit. Um, it is very sensitive and it is a practical unit. You are, you are able to use it. And uh, the seller I bought it from in Ukraine is a guy called Any Devices and uh, he I've bought most of my meters from him actually, my Ukrainian meters from him, and never had an issue. 
They've always been worked really, really well, always been nice and clean. He's never had a problem including the check source. And I think if anybody is looking one of these uh, or one of his really clean um, DP5A, B or, or V, uh, yeah, he's a guy to go to. So any devices is his name um, on Etsy. Uh, he is on there and he's on eBay as well. Uh, he's on eBay America. Yeah, if you go eBay.com, any devices, you'll find him. And uh, he is reasonably cheap. Um, some of his items can be a little bit expensive, but, um, you know, I think this was $150 boxed and uh, I think it was about 40 or 50 dollars to post it but I've bought a lot of hand a lot of my little handheld meters have came from him and I've just ordered another one from him and I've two on the way from Belarus as well so yeah lots of stuff to come but listen as always thank you very very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all again next time bye bye